person in your life. You know, we're just about to July 3rd, which was a really awesome day because that was the day you were born. And now I know you're starting on another journey on August the 3rd. And so I guess three is your lucky number. So I hope your journey with Annie will be really good and we wish you the very best and take really, really good care of her. My only advice is happy wife, happy life. So every morning when you get up, say a prayer that your wife will be happy and that you will be able to uh, not be the cause of any of her unhappiness for that day. Because when you love someone, you open up your heart. When you love someone, you make room. If you love someone and you're not afraid to lose them, you probably never love someone like I do You probably never love someone like I do When your husband comes home, make sure that the stove is as hot as the television. Spiritual security will always depend upon how one lives, not where one lives. We want to wish you the very best, you two, and we are so thrilled for The one thing that I've learned in my marriage is that marriage is not a 50-50 proposition. It's a 90-10 proposition. You need to care more about your spouse, about your husband, or about your wife than you do about yourself. What's made your marriage a happy marriage, Elaine? Well, I learned to trust in the Lord with all my heart. When you say You love the way I make you feel Everything becomes so real Don't be scared, no, don't be scared choices. I'm um, proud of you for going to school and staying out of debt and um, starting your own business and just doing as good as you have done. Um, and most of all for picking Annie. She's been a breath of fresh air and she is so sweet and we just love her. And um, I haven't spent a lot of my time as a mom giving Austin lots of advice, but one of the things I've told my kids is to marry somebody that makes them better. And I really feel like Annie makes Austin better. And um, he's more relaxed, more happy. He just cares for her, you can tell it. And it's just really sweet to watch. Um, when I got married, my father-in-law put his arm around me and um, told me that he loved me and that he thought of me more as a daughter than a daughter-in-law and was always scooping me up and pushing me into the family and it just meant so much to me. I hope today, Annie, you feel a part of our family and that you feel loved and we just absolutely love you and, and wish the best for you and Austin. 
Austin and Annie. I'm very proud of both of you. I love both of you. I'm excited for you. A um, couple things, two things I'm going to tell you. One, play together. Always get out and do different activities together. It's going to be very important for your marriage. Annie, definitely get out on the golf course with Austin. Not all the time. You don't always need to play together, but a lot of the time play together. The other thing that is probably even much more so important and you're going to hear it from everybody and that's because it's the most important thing. That's always love each other and give each other the absolute most respect that you can give any human being and always show the utmost respect to each other. Under all circumstances take each other's side and love each other no matter what. I love you both. Cause when you love someone you open up your heart When you love someone You make room If you love someone And you're not afraid to lose them You probably never love someone Like I do You probably never love someone Like I do I've always called you my caboose, and it's gonna be really hard to let you go. But I love Austin so much, and I know he's gonna take great care of you. Dad has already told you that we will never give you advice unless you come asking for it. Our door's always open, our arms are open wide, and we hope to love and support you in any way that you ask for. Love you guys so much. Hi there, three quick pieces of advice. If you base your relationship and your life on the gospel, you'll be able to face any challenge. A wise man once told me, don't sweat the little things, so don't sweat the little things. And finally, make each other laugh as often as you can. I love you too. But when you love someone, you open up your heart. When you love someone, you make room. If you love someone And you're not afraid to lose them You probably never love someone like I do You probably never love someone like I do You probably never love someone like I do Austin, I really never thought you would be getting married, but congratulations. Hey Austin, I'm proud of you for finding someone to marry. Happy for you. Good luck in Florida. Hope you guys have fun. Hey Ann, um, do you remember when you were about 10 years old and I used to grab you and we'd hop on my moped and we'd kind of cruise around the neighborhood and go on down to Valley Wide Co-op and buy snacks and treats and I don't know, it was just a really fun time, real special memory for me of spending time with you and enjoying it and loving it and I just hope that um, you and Austin will take the time to do those kind of things because it's those special moments that you remember most. I remember about 12 years ago I met the skinny little girl named Annie. And I can honestly say I'm very proud to call you my sister and I'm proud of the woman you've grown up to be. Remember who you are and what you stand for and you know the rest. Three. We love you and you know it's It was really good guys. <laughs> okay Kate, I'm going to ask you a few questions. For Annie and Austin's wedding, who would you like yeah. more, Annie or Austin? Who's your favorite, Annie or Austin? like Anne. Uh, and me. Uh, Kate might be this much afraid of Austin. Huh? Do you like Annie because she snuggles you? Uh, you like Annie because she snuggles you? Uh, yeah. Uh, and Kate, 
Are you trying anything to say before Annie and Austin's wedding? They love you. Who is your favorite, Annie or Austin? Austin and Annie. Both of them? Do you have a favorite? I have both favorites. Both favorites? Are you excited that Austin's gonna be your uncle? You are? We need to know, who's your favorite, Annie or Austin? Austin. Why? I don't know, he throws me on the bean bag. Are you excited for Annie and Austin to get married? This much for Annie, this much for Austin. Hey Dane, do you love Annie? No. Do you love Austin? No. Are you happy they're getting married? No. Yeah? <laughs> hey guys, my name is Dolph Lydiard. I'm one of Austin's best friends. Just wanted to congratulate Austin and Annie and wish them the best of luck. And uh, Annie, I heard there's some bacteria down in Florida, so watch out for that. Hi, right. so Austin. Yeah, dude, about the time you found a girl, dude, it's proud of you, dude. Huh? You would wait until I'm 7,000 miles away, though. But you always yeah. make sure, you know, the Lord is the center yeah. of the relationship. Get to go. Everything else will work out. Fuck, man.